no farther, stranger. <laughs> on waste all the way up <laughs> pissed at us because how we handle things but he probably didn't. he don't really give a damn anyway he in ice right now he's in stone can't do shit That's what you think, Broad. Where is she? At her over there? That's her. Here, I get up there. Hold on, let me. Here we go. Delilah done to my throne.
So this is the world she dreams about. My dumbass, I could have like just did the domino effect. Like a group of them. Wouldn't it all be funny if I sniper from far from far away and they actually let me kill her? Like that. That's gonna be hilarious. In fact, I'm gonna try that. This is the world she dreams about. Come on. So this is the world she dreams about. I'm not even trying to block, I'm just not realizing it. The thing is, I have deflection, <laughs> like bullet uh, ricochet, like, bullet reflection. Deflection, excuse me. One thing I can say is that this final boss fight is actually better than what um, they had in Dishonored 1. That was just a one hit shot. Literally, slow down time and you kill the boss. This one right here, you actually got to fight. I wonder if they let you, if you use Corvo, would they let you slow down time and like kill everybody like the way they did in that, that one. Come 
know what I'm thinking about? I kind of wish I would have had some straps. Can't go anywhere to get any more. Kind of spices in here. What the fuck's she making? So this is the world she dreams about. Again, it did it again. I healed, but it didn't. This is the world she dreams about. to the corner like you can't really do anything
So this is the world she dreams about. I can't, like, they, I understand they wanted to make a challenge of it. Damn, they, they don't know if you're supposed to just find a real one or just, just supposed to beat all of them. Assuming that she's supposed to use the domino effect, but, damn. I mean, using the domino ability, but, yeah, it ain't easy. This is the world she dreams about. So this is the world she dreams about. Really do not let you get like even if you try to separate you can't do anything. I'm assuming there's some other abilities you can use to like just wipe the whole thing clean. Trying to focus that domino ability kinda of tough while you try to block and have everything else going on. This is the world she dreams about.
catch you, you'll make a fine plaything for the coven. So you're back. What the hell? What oh, shit is this? You need the option to click a lot. This is the world she dreams about. Only needs one empress to love. Didn't want to kill her, but whatever. Brought that on herself. Sit 
Okay, he couldn't show no mercy. He didn't give me, he didn't really give me an option. With the fall of Luca and Bell, the Duke's line ended, and there was only one man ruthless enough to take the Grand Palace. Fighting his way up from nothing, none of his enemies were around to oppose the bloody Duke, Corvo Atano. In Dunwall, with the death of Delilah Copperspoon, her coven lost its power and was smashed. Their disastrous coup brought to an end. The rightful empress once again seized her throne, and so it was that Emily the Vengeful rooted out the last of those who had betrayed her and ruled over her empire with the support of her legendary father, Corvo Atano, from the south. <laughs> In his day, Anton Sokolov lit the fires of industry, starting a great consuming blaze at the heart of the empire. He saw his machines used for war and oppression, watching the powerful crush those beneath them. Leaving Dunwall for the last time, he turned to the cold north, his energy spent at last, only an echo of the man he'd aspired to be. There are things that never change, no matter how hard you try. Questions you must answer. As Megan Foster faded from the world, Billy Lurk stepped from her shadow, setting out to discover her truest self, and seeking the closest thing she'd ever known to family. Oh, that's a good ending. Okay. It wasn't a bad ending. It wasn't a bad ending. Well, like I heard they had two different endings. Not between the characters, but depending on how you, you know, like depending on whether you kill Delilah or you save her or whatever, it was two different endings. Like, I'm, I'm assuming that they, you know, took her family and put her in like a proper burial and they, you know, um, you know, I saved her or whatever the case is. Uh, and she's not the easiest person in the world to save. Crazy. She is crazy. Can't really save nobody like that. But, hey, that's the end of Dishonored 2, man. Um, hey, I had fun with it. Uh, it was a quick game. One thing I can say about the final boss fight is that it, it, was, a, it was more challenging than, um, you know, than, than Dishonored 1. It wasn't all that, but you know, but it was more challenging than uh, Dishonored 1. You know, I, I didn't even need all the upgrades to beat it. That's, you know, it is what it is. Um, but it was a, you know, it was a pretty fun game. I kind of like the story. And the, the fact that they have multiple endings kind of gives you, you know, some reason to go play replay value. The only thing I, 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 I kind of feel kind of disappointed about is that they didn't put enough of the black hand shots for you to get like your upgrades and everything like that. And it didn't even seem like it was a way for you to go back to get the upgrades that you possibly uh, have missed. It seemed like they just wanted you to like stay in that one town and get as many upgrades and runes as possible before you left, which is kind of nearly impossible now unless they allow you to do like a new game plus or something. Um, doesn't seem like. Yes, yeah, unless they now they don't let you do a new game plus. So. Yeah, man, so that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace, and I will see you guys for more gameplay in the future. Peace.